Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Me and I'm Anjali. Hey. And today we're going to be reacting some news that came out in the U.S. a few days ago and now it is all over India. Kamala Harris is the new vice running for vice president with Joe Biden for the United States of America. Now we know that she is half Indian. And we know that the Indian news and everybody in India is so excited because she is half Indian. She would be the first Indian American vice president. And it seems like such amazing news, but she definitely um, doesn't always favor India in her stands. Sometimes her stand, she is against uh, the decision in Kashmir, Article 370, um, against the sea. AA bill. Um, we've heard that she chose not to go to Howdy Modi when Modi G was here in the United States. So her views don't always support India, but we're going to watch what Wian has to say. Headlines in India celebrating the nomination of Kamala Harris, the blooming of a Kamal or Lotus, they declare. It's being seen as the breaking of a glass ceiling, the first step some say towards an Indian American making it to the White House to the highest level of the American government. But is the cheering a bit premature? Mm -hmm. Is Kamala Harris good news for India, really? If you looked at her past statements, you might not say yes. We did. We went through her past statements, and there are some things she said that India will not like. Kamala Harris has been a vocal critic of India's Kashmir policy, more specifically the decision to revoke the special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Last year, mm -hmm. Harris was running her own campaign for the Democratic nomination. On two occasions, she was asked about India's Kashmir decision, and on both occasions, she backed the demand for intervention. In September last year, Harris issued this message to India reminding people that they are not alone and that that we are all watching. Mm -hmm. um, because so often when we see human rights abuses, whether they be in this country or around the world, um, the abuser will convince those that they abuse that nobody cares and that nobody's watching and that nobody's paying attention, which is, uh, which is a tool of a, an abuser. And so that is part of what I would say. Um, we are watching. Harris made the same statement in October. She said, we have to remind Kashmiris that they're not alone in the world. That statement was reported prominently in Pakistani media. Of course it was. Mm -hmm. There's more. When Does India passed the, the Citizenship Amendment Act, the CAA, some American lawmakers went into an overdrive. Five Indian American lawmakers, all of them Democrats, spoke out against the CAA. Raja Krishnamurti, Pramila Jaipal, Ro Khanna, Amy Berra, and of course Kamala Harris. Mm. Out of these five, Pramila Jaipal pushed a resolution in December. It urged India to end the restrictions in Jammu and Kashmir. External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar refused to meet Jaipal during his visit to the U.S. He termed her understanding of the situation as, quote-unquote, unfair. Harris jumped yeah, in support of Jaipal. And here is what irked India. This was a clear case of selective outrage. While Jaipal and Harris leave no opportunity to lecture India on human rights, they have nothing to say when Indians become the target of Pakistan-sponsored terrorist attacks in the valley. Right. They push Where no resolutions they? when Hindus are forced to convert in Pakistan and they haven't criticized China you know, even after Chinese soldiers led a brutal and unprovoked assault on Indian soldiers at the border in Ladakh. Yeah. What does all of this tell Where's us? The resolution on Is that? the outrage against India merely a political strategy, convenient positioning? I think so. Why do we say that? Because Pramila Jaipal and Kamala Harris have not shied away from making the most of their Indian heritage on different occasions. Jaipal has brought up the point about how she was an Indian, an Indian citizen, until the age of 35. Harris, the politician, is flaunting her Indian roots too. After the announcement today, Maya Harris, the sister of Kamala, put out this video. It features their mother, Shamala Harris. She immigrated from Chennai to the U.S. The post says, and I'm quoting, you can't know who Harris is without knowing who our mother is. 
know our mother and sisters are smiling today. It's a touching message. One that has won praises from Indian Americans. So here's what it is. Kamala Harris is an American politician hoping to win Indian American votes. And there are a mm -hmm. lot of those votes. There are 10 million Indian origin voters in the US. That's 5% of the voting population. It's a big vote bank. Yeah, that's a she lot wants of that. Yeah. Until now, she felt no need to win over the Indian government. What she says going forward about India and about Kashmir will be worth watching. So these are some of the things we've heard her speak out against. We've heard her speak out against article, the removal of Article 370. We've heard her speak out against the CAA bill. Um, you know, but I agree with her about the whole, this is for votes. And I haven't heard her speak that she is from India or she is half Indian until now. Yeah, and the thing with that is it shouldn't matter based on her color, her religion, where her where her origin is. It should matter is that you agree with her policies and what she's done in the past. Right. So if you don't agree with Article 370, the removal of it, if you don't agree with the CAA bill, um, if you don't mind that she never speaks up when soldiers are killed at the border from either Pakistan side or China side, then she's the person you should be voting for if you agree with the policies that she agrees with. Don't vote for her because she's half Indian. You know, don't vote for her because she's a woman. Vote for her because you agree with her policies. She doesn't seem to like Modi G. So if you like Modi G, if you feel like Article, the removal of Article 370 was a good thing and is helping the people of Kashmir, like we did that video with Yana, and yeah. she talks about all the good things that are coming, trains, railways, jobs, you know, there's a lot of good that has come and there's only a few people that are like the terrorists that have made a bad name for them. And the majority are happy with these changes. So she needs to hear from people like Yana. So think about those things. Definitely do some research before you vote for anybody when you're voting in the United States um, or anywhere in the, the world. Make sure you're voting for good reasons, you know, not just because you like how they talk or you like how they look or, um, you know, they have something origin, in common with like... you. Yeah, like they're the same religion as you or the same color as you. Um, you need to make sure that what they're going to do for the country is what you agree with that the country needs to change. So food for thought. We will um, have to watch some of the debates and see what kind of policies she would like to implement and see if India comes up in any of them, right? Yep. So um, hopefully we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.